Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSysStamp.com and I have a really cute card that I've created using the Art Impressions Practically Perfect Set. I'm going to speed this up a little bit as I talk to you and I'll walk you through this. This is a great set with these fabulous ladies holding a birthday cake and having all sorts of fun. I decided to stamp this on some watercolor cardstock with the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and do some watercoloring. This goes really fast for me and I love how I can get the shading in. The colors I've chosen are really muted and to do that I've added a little bit of ebony with any of the other colors that I've created. And this just tones them down a bit so they're not as bright and that's what I really love about watercoloring. When I'm doing the skin tones I make sure it's really washed out to begin with. I don't want to add too much color. And I like to create the shadowing down at the bottom of each of the arms or any place where it's underneath another part of an image where it might create a shadow. I will start really light and then I can go back and add a little bit more intense color. Here's how the panel looks once I've finished coloring and I've added some pencil marks to add a message next and I will be cutting this out. There are two really great messages on here. I'm just going to line these up so I know exactly where I want them and then I can use my die. I will be partially cutting this just on the right first and I've made sure that I have it lined up with that T-square ruler and I'm securing it with a little bit of purple tape. When I go to die cut this I'm going to hang the one edge off of that plate so it's only going to cut the portion of the die that's sitting on the plate. When I run this through I will kind of eyeball it and just run it through just to the point of where I want it. And once I have my first cut done, I'll tape down the die again and hang that off of the plate. Then I can place the second plate on top and run this through again to get the left side of that window opening. And when I remove the die, I have a nice little window just on my front panel. I'm making a slider card of this and I'm going to be cutting out a little bit of a half circle so there's a grab hold and then I'll create an additional panel that will sit behind with the message. So right now I'm eyeballing it. I'm just going to mark the edges where I want to trim that panel off. And once that's trimmed I am aligning that panel to the top of the card and I just want to make sure I get it all straight and I'll put a little bit of purple tape to hold it in place just until I get it stamped. And then I'll flip the panel over and use my pencil to create a pencil guide so I know right where to stamp and I'll remove that backing and then I can set my painted piece onto a piece of Desert Storm cardstock and this will be my base of my card and I'm just using my pencil to go around that half circle and also the window. And I'll also die cut a half circle on the Desert Storm piece. Once I have all my pieces together I am placing my stamp right inside of that pencil mark of my slider panel and I'll be inking this up with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And first I like to do a test run to make sure I have everything straight and once I do I can slide my panel back in and give this a permanent stamping. And then I'll prepare my paper with the anti-static pouch for embossing and I have my second image on the door and I'm stamping this on with a Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink and using white powder and then heat setting that. Once I have everything stamped and it's all dry, I can use an eraser and erase all the pencil lines on my card. I'm using a little bit of watercolors to color behind that message, and since I use the intense black ink, I can use water over top. I've also reserved the little half circle, and I'll be adding a little bit of blue to this as well. Now that everything is dry, I'm ready to do some assembly, and I'm just holding that back panel in place with some purple tape just so that I can add some foam tape to the back. I will be cutting my foam tape in half and this will create the rails for that slider piece to run against. If you noticed, I left room on the bottom so that that will be a nice stopper so the slider won't fall into the card. And now I can remove the foam tape and align this right onto that back Desert Storm piece and you can see the white embossed message peeking through. And finally, I have slid the panel into the slider and I'm adding a little bit of glue to glue this half circle right in place. I will end up punching a hole in this and adding some twine to finish this off. 
Here's a look at how this card turned out. I love these gals laughing and having a great time. And you can see that the first message with the painted background shows. And then once you pull the panel up a little bit, it reveals the second message. I hope I've tickled your funny bone with this practically perfect stamp set from Art Impressions. And as always, thanks so much for watching.